Aha madak yapi. Chante wa shtena pecha yuza pelo. Today is October 22nd, 2012, and it's with uh, with a heavy heart that, that the indigenous world is going through today. Uh, we've lost one of our great warriors, our great statesmen, uh, one of our visionaries, and that is Russell Means. Uh, Russell Means has begun his journey to the spirit world to be at home with our ancestors, and and so I wanted to share some of the sentiments and, and some of the ways that, that Russ has affected me uh, on behalf of myself and on behalf of Last Real Indians and, and forward-thinking humans, really. Um, most of us know Russ from the 60s and the, and the 70s um, and his involvement with AIM, with the American Indian Movement, of course, uh, which m pushed us forward with the Trail of Broken Treaties, with the BIA takeover, the Custer riots the, where they burned the courthouse down, and then the 71-day gun battle, the siege at Wounded Knee, Wounded Knee 2, as we know it. Uh, some of these, these, in hindsight, you know, people talk about them in a controversial manner, and they are what they are, but regardless, without those, without those actions and, and without the, the efforts and, and the, the blood, sweat and the tears and the sacrifice, people were willing to sacrifice their lives to move us forward. And Russ was one of these guys. Without their sacrifice, we're not where we're at today. We, we're not going to be moving forward with education, with economic development, sustainable, regenerative economic development, with language revitalization, with, with being who we really are. We owe that to Russ's generation. My generation is the first free-thinking generation since we were put on reservations. And it came with great sacrifice. And, and I had the chance to express this to Russ uh, back in April. Um, that, that I just had a chance to say thank you. Um, which meant a lot to me. Because Russ is one of these guys who, you know, um, he just walks his talk. With He went fishing in the Black Hills without a license from the state of South Dakota or from the Black Hills National Forest Service and he did that because that's our country according to our treaty though the assimilated forces or the assimilative forces of the United States and of corporate media tried to to extinguish that fire within us Russ was always exercising it and with by establishing the Republic of Lakota, he did the same thing. Um, some people would call that a symbolic victory. But it was more than that, because it let us know, it forced us to look within ourselves, and it made us realize that we are free. We are independent of the dominating foreign force. We can exist independent of that force if we so choose. We can exercise our creator-given inherent sovereignty. And when I first met Russ, I was 18 years old, and that's, that's what he told me when I was 18. He said, you wouldn't be here talking to me unless there was a fighter inside you. And, and I want to tell you something. Don't ever let that fighter go out. That fire is burning inside each and every one of us for a reason, but it needs to be fueled. So don't let it go out. And, and I understand that now, that he was talking about longevity. And so, I just, you know, I want to ask for prayers for his family, because Russ was, was a man, and uh, he had a, a family. and But he gave up a lot of his self and, and made sacrifices on behalf of the people. And so I want to ask for, for prayers for his family and, and for him, for us, 
as he's welcomed home by our great warriors, uh, Crazy Horse, Sitting Bull, Tecumseh, Roman Nose, everybody, and, and, and the modern ones, uh, Bo, Little Sky, June, Little, Kenny Kane, Sage, uh, Webster, Porber, Ted Means, Vernon, uh, Belcourt, Floyd, Red Crow, Vine Deloria Jr. Jeez, everybody, everybody that has laid it on the line for us to have a better life. I want Russ to know and I want them to know that we've picked up their work. Uh, everything that they fought for, our ceremonies, our songs, language revitalization, sacred sites, water, none of that is going to die on our watch. We will live and we will carry on that energy, that spirit, that fire. It is going to live and I know they wouldn't want it any other way. And So I just want to send some encouraging words to everybody today as as we move forward and to remember Russ in this way um, because I like to take the positive from from anything and Russ has had a great impact on us and so I just ask for prayers for his family and, and I ask that everybody stay strong and, and, and go forward and with that um, I just want to thank you for your time Wopila Tonka Chicha Pelo Hamadakiasi